Tonight's episode is about crazy people being crazy, being called crazy, and those who have become crazy. I don't know about you, but I've been, I've been called crazy my whole life. Yeah, I've been called crazy a lot. But they're wrong. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. I'll tell you about a little program. It's called, uh, and you can Google this, this is real news, not fake news, a real thing, a top secret CIA program called MK Ultra. Mm-hmm. It was a program between, it was run, supposedly running from 1953 to 1973, something like that, a 20 year run, they said. And it was all research and experiments using mind control, mm-hmm. LSD drugs and uh, other <laughs> forms of things way worse than waterboarding. Um, they supposedly canceled it because of some investigations into a widespread use of illegal activities um, within the U.S. and the whole, across the whole world with this MK Ultra thing. I encourage you to look it up. Um, but if you're lazy, like me and the rest of it, all of you, um, here's a video of some demonstrations of it going a little wacko on some people. A lot Thank of credit. You. You're very talented. I mean, you're not a karaoke guy like me, but you can ask. Oh, me. Uh, you know they call me old brown eyes, right? As a matter of fact, hey. as a matter of fact, uh, you both have experience singing New York, New York. His was uh, at the slam dunk contest. Yours was in Vegas. Yes. We had the show out there. Here's just a little sampling. Drop. What is our? What's your budget yeah. on this show? Not enough for audio. She lost him. I can shout it back. Uh, I'm afraid we lost Rachel. We've lost Rachel Nix. All right, come back. Come back. I'm to me. here. I'm here. You can hear I'm me. Back to you, Scott. I'm back. She lost him. I'm just out of that. Uh, I'm afraid we lost Rachel. We've lost Rachel Nix. All right, come back. Come back. I'm here. I'm here. You can hear me. I'm back to you, Scott. I'm back. Can you hear me, Rachel? I can't. Okay, Rachel. It's one like, last time. It's like television. That's exactly how you have he did. to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. in your high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king down in the... Oh, bad, but Get nobody him. asked me about no damn gift. What's Get good? Him. Get <laughs> <him>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was in a trance. Yeah, watch the Yeah, it's a difficult title. Uh, it's a good, uh, a good day to die. I, but I, I suppose it's because you had kind of a good day, and if you would have died, well, so be it. Is that it? That's right. It, that, that, that's, a, that's a good question. Have a sandwich, and let's go shopping. So there you go, buddies, and friends, and folks. There's our favorite stars, our favorite... Most trusted news people, our actors, our musicians, just glitching out somehow, for some reason. My favorite's the Shaquille O'Neal one, because... <laughs> that was a long time. And everyone else, <laughs> and you know, and see, I, I don't, that's why I don't think this thing has been canceled. Because if you notice, there's Charles Barkley and the other ones, just, they notice he's stuck in his frozen, you know, whatever. And they just keep on talking, trying to get past the, the moment. And I, I don't know if you want to call it mind control or if it's robots or whatever. All the conspiracy theories could apply, but there's something not right, and we need to wake up to it for I sure. I mean, I've been daydreaming a time or two, but I don't think it lasts that long with, you know, somebody that many, trying to... That many people. Ooh, ooh, that many different yeah. people having the same problem. Yeah, it's a There's lot. something more to it. It reminds me a lot of uh, Westworld. 
the show Westworld. And I always yeah, thought it was weird. Part of Westworld. Yeah, I thought it was weird that Anthony Hopkins, such a, I mean, he's like knighted or something, would be doing this TV show about this exact thing. So I encourage you to look it up. I'm not saying either way. Uh, I just know it's not right, you know. So it may be mind control. The deep state's been known to do worse. So there's just not a lot of free thinking going on in some of these situations here. No, and no, there's not. that is wrong.